your school will give you skills. Ranger skills. So I'm going to be showing or demonstrating how to tie a Swiss seat for the Ranger Challenge team. What you want to do first of all is make sure that you fold the rope in half and then if you're right-handed grab a bite with your left hand like so. We'll then put that bite on your left hip, reach around your back with your right hand grabbing one, of the one end of the rope and bringing it around your waist. At this point you will have one slightly shorter end of the rope and one longer end of the rope. This is supposed to happen. What you'll do is you'll then just cross over the ropes, not once, but two times like so, and then cinch it on your waist. So you should have two ropes dangling like that, one short end and one longer end. From here, you'll reach under your legs, assuming a squat position, grab the ropes, and bring them up a standing behind your back. From here, you're going to take these, the two ends of the ropes, you're going to loop them through the top of, the ro of this rope with the ends facing your lower back, so facing in. If you do it right, it should look like this. It should form, it should form a bite when you pull this way. If you do it incorrectly, and you have the dens facing out instead of in, this will not work. From this position, we'll then grab, you know, grab the rope as close into your waist as possible, bend into a deep squat, and then pull down as you stand up. This will tighten the Swiss seat. We'll then repeat this two or three times until it is painfully tight. From this position, You'll then wrap the longer end around and you will tie a box knot on, your, on the side of your waist, making sure not to, to keep it away from the middle. For my purposes, I'll go top over bottom, bottom over top. You can check to make sure it's right because it should look like this. To finish off, you will tie a safety knot by putting the end of the end of the rope under this this rope, taking this loose slack, twisting it, and putting the end through, and then pulling. We'll then do the safety knot on both sides. You'll then take the carabiner like this, pointed end facing towards your body, and put it in top first, moving down so that it goes through both ropes that are along your waist. There should be a top one and a bottom one. You will put the carabiner through both of these ropes and then spin it around so that the opening latch is facing up, like so. This will allow you to easily hook into the rope bridge and be unhooked. And that is the Swiss seat.